Clint Dempsey, Jack Harrison, Josie Altador, Chris Wondolowski, even our very own Matt Beasler. These are all examples of players that have been drafted by MLS teams in the college super draft and have gone on to have incredible careers. Now it's Austin FC's turn to draft some potential legends. Hey guys, before starting this video, I just wanted to give you all a heartfelt thank you for your support. The YouTube channel has officially surpassed the 100 subscriber mark. And as a result, I decided to now make an Instagram page for Twin Oaks TV in addition to our Twitter account. So go ahead and give us a follow on Instagram as well. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with all kinds of Verde content. For the past 21 years, the MLS Superdraft has given many of our college athletes the opportunity to sign contracts with professional teams and jumpstart their career. For an expansion side, the Superdraft is a crucial event to add some much needed depth to the squad. Let's jump right into Austin's five picks. Austin FC selects Daniel Pereira. Number one was Daniel Pereira. Coming into the draft, all we heard was Mayaka, 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 Mayaka. Turns out he wasn't the hottest prospect in the eyes of Austin or Cincinnati, as he was passed over by both and then picked third by the Colorado Rapids. Instead, our first pick was Daniel Pereira, a 5'9", 20-year-old center mid from Virginia Tech that prefers to play as a box-to-box -box midfielder or as an eight. Pereira is a Venezuelan international and moved to the US in 2015 for reasons that should be obvious. He netted 6 goals and 6 assists in 26 matches for the Hokies in the span of 2 seasons. Pereira was named to the Atlantic Coast Conference All-Freshman Team in 2019, after a high school career in which he reached the state championship for his division and scored 44 goals in a single season, breaking his school's record. Pereira is going to add some much needed depth to the midfield, especially in a position where our depth isn't particularly great at the 8, although that could be changing soon with a few news that have been breaking recently. In an interview, Josh Wolf explained his reasoning behind the pick, adding that he sees a player that fits the way Austin FC wants to play, as well as a player that is comfortable under pressure, humble, hungry, technical, and that has the ability to come and play at an MLS level. Given what we know of what the preferred playstyle means for Wolf, it seems that Pereira's ability to find space in the central midfield, his set-piece prowess, and his ability to play between the lines is what earned him the number one draft spot. Coming in as our second pick and the 11th pick overall was Freddie Kleeman, a towering 6'4", 21-year-old center back from the University of Washington. Now, this is the draft pick that we acquired after trading Kamal Miller to, uh, Club the Foot? Montreal? Sorry, this new name just doesn't quite make the same impact on me. But anyways, he made 28 appearances for the Huskies in 2018 and 2019, starting 22 of those matches, and was heading into his junior season before the pandemic put a pause to the entire world. Jamie Clark, Kleeman's coach at the University of Washington, mentions that he is a very strong defender that loves to play out of the back, and that his time as a center mid while growing up helped with the development of his composure on the ball. I may be starting to sound like a broken record, but once again, we see Wolf and Reyna selecting center backs that are seemingly good with their feet and good at getting the ball forward, transitioning the play through the midfield into our forwards. Moving on, we had Aiden Stanley as our third pick and the 21st overall draft pick. He is a 21-year-old that's 5'11 and plays as a left back and center back for Duke University. Aiden brings in some much needed depth at the left back position, given that at this moment only Ben Sweat plays that position naturally. Having a young promising talent push him for minutes can only benefit the club. Stanley played for St. Louis FC in the USL Championship before attending Duke. At Duke, Stanley played 37 matches between 2018 and 2019 before signing with the Portland Timbers 2 in USL. In 2021, he signed with Sporting Kansas City 2. However, he was still qualified for the Super Draft and his selection will see him land in Austin instead. With the Blue Devils, Stanley played center back for all 20 games he appeared in during the 2018 season. Then, continued to split time between defense and wide midfield during the 2019 season. Upon moving to the Timbers 2, Stanley started and went the full 90 in all 16 of his appearances, and this is where he began to shift into the left back position. Not only is his position very necessary for the club, he is also a rookie with plenty of experience at the professional level. Even if his experience comes from USL, this is levels above college soccer and should facilitate his transition into the first team. Our fourth pick and the 28th pick overall was Daniel Steedman, a 20-year-old 5'9 forward and midfielder that played for the University of Virginia. The same program that produced a player you might know, Daryl DK. 
Steedman first played in USL with Charlotte Independence in 2018, then took up equestrian duties with the Cavaliers in 2018 and 2019, before moving to Atlanta United 2 in the USL in January 2020. Here's a little fun fact for you. Steedman was born in Glasgow, Scotland, and given his stint at Atlanta United 2, has had a similar path to John Gallagher, who is also from the British Isles, in his case, Dunleck, Ireland, and also played at Atlanta's USL affiliate. Steedman is an up-and-coming center forward with some great goals and positional flexibility, and adds depth in a position currently occupied by Danny Hewson, or potentially the aforementioned John Gallagher. In 2018, he was named to the ACC All-Freshman team, and in 2019, he started all 22 of the matches he played, netting three goals and seven assists. Much like Aiden Stanley, his experience playing in USL will likely aid his transition into soccer at the MLS level. Our fifth pick and the 55th pick overall came in the form of Noah Lawrence, a 6'1", 22-year-old goalkeeper from Ohio State University. Lawrence played for the University of Cincinnati for three seasons, netting 36 appearances before transferring to Ohio State. He has developed in both the New York Red Bulls and the DC United Academies, and has been a part of the US Youth National Team under-19 pool, a similar national team trajectory to Brady Scott. He recorded 109 saves over the 2018 and 2019 seasons for the University of Cincinnati and has been named ACC Goalkeeper of the Week a few times in his career. His coaches have described him as being explosive and great at stopping shots at crucial moments as is evident in his save statistics and some of the footage that I'll put on this video. Nonetheless, this pick comes as a surprise considering the extensive goalkeeper pool already present for Austin FC, consisting of Tarbell, Stuver, and Scott. It is possible that Lawrence was signed as a depth piece that could cover for Scott if the youngster is loaned out for playing time and to free up a senior slot on the roster, given that Scott has to take up a senior slot due to being obtained via the expansion draft. Overall, Reyna and Wolf have certainly handed us a fair bit of surprises in this draft, especially with our number one pick in Pereira. It's difficult to know exactly how these players will fit into the team, just as it is difficult to see how they played in the past. Recently, we have seen Superdraft players perform really well, for instance, with Daryl DK at Orlando. Nonetheless, many players don't reach those heights and may end up just being depth. That being said, depth is exactly what Austin needs right now. Not having access to academy graduates and homegrown players means that the slots and talent offered by these draft players is invaluable. If someone like Ben Sweat were to get injured, we would have previously not had a natural replacement for him. Now we can throw in someone like Aiden Stanley not only to back up the defensive lineup, but potentially challenge for starting minutes. At the end of the day, I would like to wish the best of luck to these draftees. They have taken their first steps as professional soccer players, a dream many are never even capable of achieving. Here's to hoping they develop well, stay healthy, and lead a satisfying footballing life, bringing many victories to the Twin Oaks. Cheers! Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you once again to please subscribe to this channel and follow us on Twitter and Instagram on social media if you'd like to keep up with our Verde content. Talk to y'all later.